Okay, how to make PC boards with PMP Blue. All right, this is a PC board. Don't confuse the backside that happens to be blue randomly. Um, usually the backside is like beige or whatever. But this is PMP Blue, all right? Um, it's called press and peel blue, press and peel. It's an iron-on transfer for making PC boards. You get your copper clad PC board and the first thing you do is you clean it with acetone. Don't cut yourself on the PC board. Whenever you work with acetone, always make sure you're in a super well ventilated area and you close the lid if you work in your garage uh, because it, it will evaporate into the air and create a cloud, a highly flammable cloud. You know, next you tape your PC board with the ink facing, you know, face down tape it down with some masking tape. So if your iron's already been preheating, take it, you know, you gotta have a clothing iron preheating. And then uh, take a piece of paper. I like to use two pieces of paper sometimes. So I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna fold the ink. This is actually the directions on how to do this. I'm gonna fold it with the ink inwards. And then I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna iron this for about, minutes it's hot um, woo. so it's on polyester setting I don't know what the hell that means but what you do is you don't press very hard don't press hard at all just keep moving in circles so I'm not putting any pressure it's just the weight of the iron if I put any pressure at all I'm just not gonna I'm just gonna let the iron an iron and uh, keep moving keep moving in circles because you don't want to melt the plastic sheet you don't want it to bubble up and if it bubbles up then it will not apply the ink in that spot when you print uh, on PMP blue you need to use a flatbed laser jet printer or do what I do is I go to Kinko's, I go to the copy shop and I use a copy machine because it uses the same type of ink as a flatbed printer. And this ink is crucial to transferring the image, the mask of the image to the copper. When you can see the image clearly um, right through the blue, then you're probably done. And if it's all bubbled up, then you messed up. Rinse it in water. Peel it off. Um, see how it worked. Perfect. If you, uh, if some of the lines weren't complete, then you need to connect them. Use this to do touch-ups. This kind of a sharp. The skinnier ones, fine tip. This is actually called a fine tip, but the ones that are even smaller than this are no good. This is the one you want, this size of Sharpie. Okay, so the sun is out, and I've got this OJ container that, that I've cut open uh, to use, so I didn't have any takeout plastic boxes or any disposable Tupperware. And you want to do this in the sun. Um, it usually takes about a half hour for copper in San Francisco. You know, with the... In this kind of a climate or whatever. It'll vary. Some people sell rigs, you know, they come with like a fish tank heater and a, and a bubbler. That, and a, you know, a little air pump that will emit bubbles. And that will definitely make it etch faster. But if I leave this in the sun here for 30 minutes, this is going to do the job. 
I won't really have to move it around or anything. You're not supposed to sit above it. You know, some people say, you know, put a lid on it and use a Tupperware. You just use the same one over and over again. Because the fumes it emits is like really bad for you. But I'm not gonna sit above it. I'm just gonna set it in the sun and I'm gonna come back in a half hour. This is a great way, not only to prototype your own PC boards, but a lot of people build their own synthesizers this way. Um, there's a guy, there's a website called Usynth. A lot of people have built their own MOTM Moog style synthesizers this way from the, the PC board images that the guy provides. He provides the black and white images as a PDF. You just download it, print it out the way I told you on the PMP Blue, and boom. You know, if you can read schematics, if you can debug things, and you can build your own synth. So after uh, after the etch, this took like an hour and a half because I used old etching, old ferric chloride from Radio Shack. After it's done etching, you rinse it off with cold water. You know, make sure you rinse that water into some like pile of dirt in your backyard or something. Don't do it in the house, man. Don't use the fair card in the house. It'll ruin everything in your whole house. It's, it's some nasty shit. But um, rinse it off, and then you remove the ink that you ironed on with acetone again. So you use acetone, paper towel, whatever. Make sure any paper towels you you use with the acetone, you throw it into like a metal trash can or like you wet it flush it down the toilet or something. Now, I'm gonna put this in my little Dremel press, which is kind of crucial to this process. I don't know what size the bit is. It's just the smallest one I have. Craigslist. With this old school Dremel press, because I read somewhere online some dude was like swearing by his old school Dremel press for making PC boards. continually on your own terms regardless and stick out like a sore thumb.